As the U.S. space shuttle is set to finish flying, attention is focusing on the alternatives. In the short term for supplying the International Space Station and transporting crew back and forth, the Russian cosmonaut trainer Sergei Krikalev says the Soyuz program will work just fine. In recent years, all the long-term expeditions of the International Space Station have been brought there only by the Soyuz spaceships. Moreover, the Soyuz vehicles are also the lifeboats. And other countries, particularly those in Asia, are looking to fill the gap that will be left by the shuttle's departure. Japan's goal is to provide launch services for commercial satellites for global customers, as well as putting its own payloads into space. Its HTV cargo transfer spacecraft has been ferrying supplies to the space station for the past two years. Yoshia Fukuda says his JAXA space agency is very competitive on price. We could ask from foreign countries, how could you possibly do it under that restricted budget and be able to have the same or better outcomes as our products? It's a mystery, or a miracle. Japan's precise technology gets praised a lot. So far, however, Japan's just been ferrying cargo. It hasn't launched people into space using its own rockets, although it does have plans for manned missions in the future. The Chinese, however, have put people into orbit. Yang Li Wei was the first back in 2003. Five years later, a Taikonaut performed the first Chinese spacewalk. There have been Chinese lunar probes, and later this year, the first building block for a Chinese space station will be lifted into orbit. There is a link between space leadership and international prestige, according to Scott Pace at George Washington University, although he was reluctant to frame it as a competition. I don't believe that there's a race uh, going on with China. I believe China is pursuing its uh, human spaceflight programs on its own timetable and for its own political needs. Still, with China's space station slated to start operations around 2020 when the existing ISS is due to retire, it is possible in decades to come the one permanent human presence in the sky could be Chinese. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.